Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a 12-hour readathon. Yeah. You want to show the books you're going to read first? Okay. So I'm finishing As Good as Dead, because I was going to finish it the other day, and then I didn't. And then, next, I'm going to move on to Killjoy, and it's, like, very thin, so, like... Um... Then, I might read this, The Outsiders. I, this would be a reread for me, because I read it at school, or that. But I like this book, so I got my own copy of it, and I'm going to read it. Again, sad, so... <laughs> find out. And then, I think I'm going to read Love and Luck. Um, this is the second book to the Love and Gelato series. And then, I'm going to start The Summer I Turned Pretty, the first book. And I don't know if... Like, I'll borrow her copies of the other two if I like that one and finish it. Yes, I don't know what order I'm doing these in. I just know I'm starting with Starfish. The window keeps getting on it. Starfish. Uh, yeah, my bookmark's in it, but I haven't started yet. Then, I don't know if I'm going to read all these or what order I'll do them in, but I've got five, six, and seven of the Camp Confidential series. And then I have... The island, which, yeah. And if I do happen to finish all of them, which is a stretch, um, mm -hmm. I don't think I will. But if I do, I will find another book in my house to read. That's a choice. Which, I don't know how many I'll get. Depends on if I'm reading quick or slow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think we're starting in my basement. And then we'll move yeah. all over the place, like... Could go in the top of the race shop, motorhome, her basement, her bedroom, my bedroom, our living room, her living room. I don't know where we're yeah, going. But my front porch. Yeah. Back so, porch. Back porch. Yeah. There's a lot of places. But my mom said we should give each other, we should give five minute breaks every hour so that we don't. can. Yeah I, was like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm going to have to take some secret breaks. <laughs> yeah. And like talk to the camera in those five minutes and like do whatever rejuvenates mm -hmm. so i think jordan's gonna start the timer on her phone yeah. but we'll start that when we go downstairs so what time loud. we got six minutes till we're supposed to start we're gonna start at 9 45 a.m mm -hmm. i forgot to tell you the date it is june 9th 2024 that's it this is the this is the snack thing. we got Chips, we got apples, fruits, oops, fruit snacks, raisins, uh, granola bars, Pringles, Sour Skittles, Sour Patch Kids, and cheese it. Oh, the Sour Skittles. The best. And then, in the fridge, we got taco roll-ups, uh, carrots and ranch. Yeah. So, and then we both have bags full of stuff, I assume. Yeah. I've got, like, my phone charger, my book light in there, uh, I have my earbuds, I have... Gum. Oh, I have gum too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's it. I didn't really pack that much in my bag. I just didn't yeah, have my okay. Stanley. Well, we'll see you when we go downstairs and start. Ah! Okay. an hour okay. it's been about an hour in a couple minutes i'm still reading this because you're like halfway through that thing you're yeah i'm blind. a little bit more than halfway but this has like hardly anything on the pages it's like meanwhile mine's like oh, that's not full pages full pages yeah and it's, it's kind of smaller text too yeah this book is good it's quite sad i have almost 30 pages more of my book 
because I had like I had like 100 pages to read, so that's pretty good. Yeah, it is. That clock over there is wrong, but it's like 10:55. We have 10 hours, 50 minutes, and 45 seconds left. We're taking five minute breaks every hour, so don't come for me if the comments are on. I know we're not doing 12 hours straight, but we basically are, but we're taking several breaks because we'll get... I don't want to get a headache. Yeah, we gotta take a break. But I need a brain break for a minute. Yeah. Because, like, in my book, they're, like, dealing with, like, cases and stuff, so it's, like, you have to really pay attention or you're gonna miss something because it's gonna be, like, something exploding in the next page and then... We got the snack basket. These Pringles are looking pretty promising. Oh, yeah. They're decent. Some of them are saltier than others. Yeah. Those are pretty good. Pringles! We're eating Pringles right now. Yeah. You want to turn on a uh, Taylor Swift song? Yeah. We I like Guilty as soon. We can dance to that, and then I'll edit it out because, well, I'll speed it up so I don't get copyrighted. Yeah, so reading, I feel like that first hour went pretty fast. Mm -hmm. It could just be me. <coughs> I don't know. I keep dying over here. <laughs> it's like, I have my allergies and then my, like, stuff for my nose is going down my throat and it's like tickling my throat and I'm like choking on it. That's like, <laughs> disgusting. Jordan just finished yeah, as good as dead. What's yeah. your rating? I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. I think I know, but I'm not, I'm not gonna say that information yet. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm starting Killjoy. And, okay, I noticed something. These pages are so thin in this. But then these ones are super thick. And look, this is a novella, and half of the book isn't even... <laughs> it's showing off. That's no way, right. that's right. Sorry. See? It's showing off I survived and Oh my gosh. The Joe's out of my hair. Is this it? Wait, so this wait. Is... No. I already know about the author because I have all the rest of them. This is as much as I'm reading today for this book. And then this is this... showing off two other books she's already And read. these pages are thicker too. And look how small the font is here. Font is in this one. And then like This one's bigger, yeah. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it is. <sighs> it's okay. This one, I should get through faster then, right? Yeah. It's really fun, too, because it's a it's not, it's murder not. mystery party. And I'm going to probably read that outside first. <sighs> okay, back to time lapse. Taco roll up, uh, and I got the next book I'm gonna read. And Skittles, yes, and sour Skittles. I got the next book I'm gonna start. I'm reading. She's reading Killjoy. Yes. Well, I can't really film up here because there's not a place to set my phone. So we'll see you at our check-in. Hi guys, we are in Jordan's basement right now. Uh, we were just, we were on the front porch as you saw, and then we were on in my basement on the workout bike and on the elliptical. 
while we read, and then we came over here, and we're in her little blanket fort. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have a TV thing. I'll put a picture in right here. Um, yeah. But we're going to keep reading. Jordan finished Killjoy. Did you decide on your ratings for Good as Dead and Killjoy? Okay, so I'd say as good as Dead. 4.9. 4.9. Because of the ending made me mad. Um, the second half of the book I was a little slower. <laughs> then um, I wanted it to be because of what happened. <laughs> Killjoy, I sped through. Like, she was done like, with it, I swear, less than an hour. Maybe not. So that one, I'll give like a 4.75 because like good, but like I need a bit more spookiness for Holly Jackson. Uh, tell them what you're reading now. Now, I'm reading a um, book. I'm reading The Outsiders, and it's been slow. Like, the first chapter was, like, 19 pages, which isn't bad. I feel like I was reading it slow, so I'm going to listen to the audio version, audiobook version. Probably I'll find one. Um, well, you could just, read as you listen to the audio. Yeah. Is that's that what, what yeah. Okay. Like, I'm going to read along with the audiobook. Like, and you could like speed it up real fast. Hopefully, you can find it. Like, yeah, I can, I can find like everything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and then she is reading. Yeah, I already showed you what I was reading, but um, I've got like, like, twenty, something pages left ish. So finish this, and then I'm gonna start this, and I'm gonna try and find a spot to set my phone up so you can see us read. Mm, I don't know how good that'll be. And sorry if the lighting's kind of bad. We're in this teepee in the fort, so. Yeah, that's all. top of the TV, we got bomb pops or kind mom brought them down for us yeah i just finished this and started this i'm on page 41 of this the outsider she yeah it's kind of an awkward angle i don't know how the time lapse turned out i guess we'll see uh yeah that's all when we finish our bomb pops, we'll go back to reading. I think. Yeah. Oh, wait. We have six hours and six minutes. Oh, we have four seconds left. Yeah, six hours and six minutes left. We are six minutes away from being halfway. guys we are on jordan's back porch now i am like 50 pages away from finishing this i don't know how many pages she is from i'm finishing. like okay i'm like 30 pages away from okay yeah so uh we it's been a hot minute i think mean, yeah we started these at like the same time mm -hmm. and yours is longer than mine i've been slacking a little bit but that's okay uh, i think these are usually a couple I was also trying to find the audio thing, and I did Yeah, but I've been like reading really slow. This is only 146 pages. 180. So it's got like 30, her her book has 34 more pages than mine. But, and I started mine after hers a little bit, but that's okay. But, yeah, so we've got like three hours and 35 minutes left of the challenge. It is, it is 6.09 p.m. And Jordan's doggy's out here. Darna! She's like, leave me alone. Leave me alone. 
But you can see my over the fence over there because we're neighbors if you didn't know. But they're over there, they're having a fire for dinner. But it is also raining. Not hard, but it's like sprinkling like it was earlier. And then so. once I finish this, I'm going to move on to this. Love and luck. Yes. This one has 304 pages, so this will be the longest one that I think I've like read today. I'll be good as good as dead, but I haven't read the whole thing today, so. Darla's taking a number two over there. Oh. Now she's sniffing it. Ah, it's cute. <laughs> yeah. But I, there's not a good time lapse spot out here, so we'll talk to you when we talk to you. We have three hours and 34 minutes. Yeah, three hours and 34 minutes left. She's camera shy. Hi guys, we are in Jordan's uh, living room now. We just took like a 30 minute break. Was it 30 minutes? I don't know, I was reading. I took a 30 minute break. Well, we both took breaks, just I don't exactly she, know. How like, to. didn't take, or she wasn't reading. No, right. she was reading a little though. But so I went back to my house and I had two hot dogs, baked beans, and some fruit. Talked to my family members and my grandparents. Then came back here. And now I'm working on my reading journal a little bit because I don't want to read right now. And yes, I am reading Love and Luck right now because I finished Outsiders. And I'm on. Page 34 of it right now. Would you rate the outsiders? Mm -hmm. I don't know, like 4.75 because it was like a little slow, but okay. like to get into it, but then. Okay, yeah. But I don't think I've told you any of my ratings this whole entire time. Mm -mm. I've sold mine. I would always tell you to tell your ratings and then I yeah, would never tell anyone. I would just like forget to ask you. Well, I will show you them at the end of the video when we film the outro. Yeah, I don't know if I'm finishing this one. Probably not because we have like an hour and 55 minutes probably now. So. And that's 300 pages. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, no. yeah, I'm going to update my reading journal on the books that I read today and then start the seventh Camp Confidential book. Yeah, I'm hoping to finish that by the end of this in like an hour and 54 minutes. So, and start another one and not finish that, obviously. But yeah. yeah, I'm probably not going to get to the Summer I Turn Pretty series, but I can just read that later. Like once I finish this. Yes. But this is like pretty thin, so. Thinner than the other two. Yeah. Hi, Darla. <laughs> She's like, what's going on? She got nasty with me earlier. <laughs> Why? going off there's up yep okay I know you can't see us right now but you can hear us uh, we are on her back porch right now and the timer just went off so we're gonna go inside and film the outro okay guys we are in her basement we are done with the read -a -thon. we did it we did take 
some breaks. So, we didn't do, like, exactly 12 hours straight. We took, like, maybe a couple breaks. Like, a couple breaks. Um, like we were m reading the majority, the majority of the yes. day. Yeah. Like, yeah, we read a lot. I read a total of 597 pages. And I read a total of 477 pages. That's okay. Yeah, so that's a lot, but... She read a little bit more than me because this one was read, wrote in like a... A free verse, and it's like, looks like poems, but it's actually just like really short chapters. Do you want to go first? Do you want me to go first? Um, we'll just like do like the first book. Okay, so the first book I read today in this challenge was Starfish by Lisa Flips. In this, I rated 4.25 stars. It was good. It was good. And it was written in free verse, so, like, as you see, the whole pages weren't full. Um, you flew through that, because I remember I was reading... Okay, should I... Yeah, you can um, I read um, As Good As... Or I finished As Good As Dead by Hallie Jackson. I had, like, 100 pages left, so I finished that. I was actually exactly 100 pages. And I was in the middle of my 100 pages, and she, like, was, like, already halfway through her book, and I was like, oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it was, it was, it went really fast. This book was about a girl named Ellie, and she was fat chained her whole life, and then she, um, stands up to her bullies, and it was pretty good. Well, okay, so are you going to tell them the rating for that? Yeah, I rated it 4.25. I rated this 4.9, yes, 4.9, even though I put five stars on Goodreads, but I, then I put 4.9 in my thing. Anyways. So, it's because that, um, the ending left me on a cliffhanger. And it's the last book in the series, so it's a cliffhanger series. forever. And I was angry. And, um, also the second, or, like, there's, like, two parts to this book, and the second part of this book, like, felt just a little slower, because, like, of what was happening in the book. Mm -hmm. But it was still really good, so... I recommend this series, but you have to read the other two to understand what's happening in this book. Yes. Um, then next, I read the fifth Camp Confidential book, T TTYL by Melissa J. J. Morgan. And I rated this book 4.25 stars. This book was good. I flew through this. I don't know how long it took me, but I remember it feeling really fast. So this is in a lot of different point of views. Uh, which was okay. Like, on the chapters, it would say a different point of view. Like, in the day. So, yeah. I rated it 4.25 stars. There's nothing else I can really say about it. But. Except for, uh, also, so the first six, no, first four books, they were at camp. And then this one is when they get home from camp and go back to school. And, like, all the girls from camp are, like emailing each other that's it so then i read after that i read kill joy by holly jackson and this is the novella to the it's like a prequel to the good girl's guide to murder but you're, but supposed, you're to supposed to read, read it last so it's book 0 0.5 or whatever that's what people say but um this one was really good i threw flew through it i would say it's probably 4.75 because it wasn't like scary like the other ones were because like i feel like Holly Jackson's kind of known for her scariness, and this one just wasn't as scary. But it was still really good. Like, the whole plot of this was good. Uh, mm -hmm. Next book I read was RSVP, the sixth Camp Confidential book by Melissa J. Morgan. I rated this book 3.75. Uh, I didn't enjoy this book too much, and, like, it could be it could be me. I could be the problem because this was where my reading started to really slow down and I started to not comprehend anything I was reading. So this book was pretty much the same thing. They were like emailing and stuff, but then they got told that there was going to be a camp reunion. So they were all like planning sleepovers and stuff for that night and then they went to the reunion. Everyone's fighting and it was unnecessary drama we did not need in this. But of course, at the end, it all got resolved, so. Hi, this is editor Lillian popping in here. I also did not like this book because, um, like, 
it was in tons of different point of views, but it didn't tell you when it was switching point of views. So it'd like be, you're reading this paragraph, and then the next paragraph, it's in a different point of view. And like, it was jumping all over the place, and I had no idea whose point of view I was in most of the time. So, yeah, that's the other reason why I didn't like it. 3.75. Then I read The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton. Um, this book, always very good. It's 4.75 for me because it felt like a little slower because that's I also started slowing down I feel like when I started this because the first chapter was 20 pages and I was like or it was like 19 pages but and I was like oh my gosh this is gonna take forever so I ended up listening to an audiobook version of this but it took me pretty much as long as <laughs> reading the other one but um this book is still really good and I recommend it to like everybody if it's very emotional. It had me sobbing three different times. I actually wasn't crying at all, but I've read it before, so I was fine. like <laughs> so into it when I did that. No, like I read this before and this was like a reread, but I wanted to get a physical copy of it and then reread it. So, cuz I read this for school at one point. So, yeah. Yeah, I sobbed three times the book did that. That book is very good. I highly recommend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then the last book that's going to be in this video for me, I read 58 pages of it. And then the timer went off. Was Camp Confidential number seven, the second times the charm. They're back at camp now. Uh, this one is back in just one girl's point of view. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But I rated this. Well, I can't really rate it yet because I'm done. I'm not done yet. So. Oh, I was like, did I say? Okay. Um. So then I have love, love and luck. This is my last book, by the way. Love and Luck by jo Jenna Evans Welch. I cannot talk. <laughs> and, um, so this book is the second book to the Love and Gelato series, and it's following Addie, which is Lena from the first book's best friend. And it's, like, good so far, but I feel like it's a little kind of, like, I didn't get it at first, but I'm also kind of distracted because I was, like, tired of reading for the day and then I felt like it was kind of all over the place but it was probably just me because I'm not concentrating and then I kept getting confused but then it started coming together and I'm how many pages 80 pages through so far for this and it's like good but like I feel like I'm not fully into it yet because I was just kind of waiting to be done yeah I kind of want to take another thumbnail but I forgot about that until just now and I put all my books away but I would say this was a successful readathon, um, except for us taking breaks. But you have to take breaks. You can't, or you you can't just read for twelve hours straight, or you will literally like like you act. You have to I don't go to the bathroom and eat something. And yeah, it. it's not like you can just sit there all day just reading. I don't know. But like, in me, I know some people are like, you could have paused your timer while you did that, but then we'd be up till like one in the morning. Okay. No. Yeah, I got plans tomorrow, okay? I gotta go grocery shopping. So I don't know what I have plans tomorrow. It's like ten o'clock at night right now. It is ten oh one right now. I gotta go to, to home and take a bath, see my cat, put dishes away, write my journal about today, which won't take too long because I just sat on my butt all day. But Yeah, the thing well actually we did like we were We did work out a little bit, yes. Not, it felt like but, Yes. But thank you guys you so this? much. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Me and Jordan are about to take another thumbnail because the other one wasn't the best. Um, Our thumbnails have been all over the place because we've like taken like every little, not every, we've taken two thumbnails today in different settings. But yeah. We had chips in it. <laughs> chips in it. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, there was a lot of effort put in this video, so yes, it would kind of... 12 hours out of my day. 12 hours of my life I will never get back, okay? So maybe consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and go and watch some of my other reading videos, because I make a lot of them. And daily shorts, you should subscribe for those too. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, and share this video to your friends. Comment if there's comments. Have you ever done a readathon before? This was me and Jordan's first one. Uh, yeah. I just, I just sure like to ramble. I didn't any of these. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just like to ramble, so I gotta go. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Peace.